here's a very important distinction. Speed is an example of what we call a scalar quantity. It has magnitude or size, but no direction. Velocity is a vector. It has magnitude and direction. <laughs> and direction is important. A velocity of one metre per second east is no good if you want to go north. Notice the notation. In handwriting, a normal letter V is the speed, which is the scalar. For velocity, I write V with a wiggly line below. That indicates it's a vector. Some people put an arrow above the vector in handwriting, and in printing, vectors are often given bold font. When we specify a vector, we must give magnitude and direction. Look at these statements. This equation is correct. We have a vector on both sides of the equation. The second cannot be true because a vector cannot equal a scalar. The third equation is correct. The two vertical lines mean the magnitude of a vector, and the magnitude of a vector is indeed a scalar. Of course, the magnitude of velocity must have dimensions of distance per unit time. Distance is another example of a scalar. 30 centimetres is a distance. In contrast, 30 centimetres east is a displacement. I displace my pen 30 centimetres east. If I displace it 30 centimetres south, that is a different displacement. I'd certainly notice the difference when I go to look for my pen. Scalars have magnitude or size, but no direction. Vectors have both magnitude and direction. Adding and subtracting scalars is simple. You've been doing it for years. All you have to do is to remember to get the units right, then do the arithmetic. 3 seconds plus 4 seconds equals 7 seconds. Adding and subtracting vectors is more complicated. Suppose vector A is 5 metres north and vector B is 5 metres east. I've drawn them here as arrows. The length of the arrow represents the magnitude of the vector. In this context, I've actually written north and east as vectors because they are. They have a direction and their magnitude is 1. They're examples of what we call unit vectors. OK, let's go 5 metres north, turn a right angle, then 5 metres east. Our new displacement is northeast of our starting point. Pythagoras' theorem gives us the magnitude of the new displacement. The magnitude of A plus B is square root 5 metres squared plus 5 metres squared equals 7 metres. Ah, remember, one significant figure. So, when we represent A and B with arrows, we simply add them by putting them head to tail. Let's write the sum as vector C equals A plus B. Now you know how to add vectors. Well, what about A minus B? How do we subtract vectors? There are two ways. We could say A minus B equals A plus minus B. B is 5 metres east, so minus B is 5 metres west. So here's a diagram of A plus minus B. <laughs> That's one easy way to subtract vectors. Here's another way. When I say 7 minus 4 equals 3, I mean that 3 is what I have to add to 4 to get 7. So if D equals A minus B, then D is what I have to add B to to get A. I'm going to add B to something to get A. Well, there it is, A minus B. So we can draw the vectors head to head to subtract them. Is that clear? Well, you won't really know until you do some examples. So let's have a quiz. <laughs> 